right so today i'm going to show you guys how to macro literally everything inside this game in the new update 8.5 instead of waffling let's get straight into the video let's just start off by installing the macro so how you want to install the macro is you just click on the first link in my description right now so this link should redirect you to sam's projects right over here scroll down until you see mango then for over here click on this one and then what i actually recommend doing is scrolling up a bit so you can see the main link over here click on this main link after you're over here after you're over here you can go over here to the newest releases right so I'll just click on the 63 plus releases and so if you don't have uh early access or orca just search for the newest one that's not any of those so as you can see this is the newest one but the, when you actually watch this video the free one is going to be on top right so make sure that you download that one and how you download that one is yet that you just go over here to whatever the version is not this version the latest version for the free because obviously you're going to be using it for free then go over here to source code zip and then just make sure that you save this then open it up over here so whenever this actually opens up over here you're going to want to click on extract all i click on extract again so after you did that this window should pop up uh make sure that you double click on this and then double click on this avaio so there is a thing where your macro can like keep disappearing like right like it just disappears for no reason the reason that is is because windows thinks it thinks it's a virus right and the reason it thinks that is because it runs keystrokes and keystrokes is something that is usually done by malware but it is not malware because i'm telling you guys it has to run keystrokes for you, your units to actually place down so let's just really quickly disable the windows protection services and the way we do that is we can just go over here boom and type in security or just type in secure and then click on this one the windows security settings right click on that then go over here to virus and threat protection then as you see virus and threat protection settings manage settings and then turn this off boom turn that off all right then you're going to want to click on the second link in the description then you're going to be redirected to auto hockey then click on download download v2.0 then click on save and then as you can see just run the setup and just press on install and install auto hockey after you turn that off you can go back over here double click on this now as you see it says windows protect your pc but again this is just because of the reason i said earlier it runs keystrokes run anyway now just really click quickly press f1 boom as you can see now i'm gonna actually show you guys how to macro anything you want so for main over here the webhook it says webhook url right just go over here back to discord right make your own discord server then go over here to webhook like whatever your server is go to your server thank you then create a channel and then edit that channel go over here to integrations boom click on new webhook and then go over here and then copy this webhook url go back to this one and then paste that right in there and then click save so for the auto reconnect this is actually pretty simple what you're going to want to do is just open up roblox so after you do that just make sure that you search for av where after you click on av go to servers and then whatever your own private server is click on configure then you can see this link right here copy this link so Control c or just press this then boom new tab Control v paste that in there boom then wait until this is like fully loaded as you see now it's fully loaded then copy this link and then go back here and paste that link right in there boom save settings now you should be done so let's go over to the placement right the placement is just basically how your units are placed so let's say we go back to here and then to our teams right scroll down let's say we want our team seven to be our challenge team the way we do that is as you can see this is eight this is seven okay so we want team seven to be our challenge team boom we go to team seven then the units that i do recommend will be on the screen right now so the main dps unit should be Vang or sung Wu. the second unit should be either D uh, delta or uryu right uh in my opinion uryu is a bit better but you can also run delta if you want then this next one should be lancer choo choo line if you don't know his real name then here i recommend just doing biken right if you don't have biken choose any repulse unit maybe even saber so if you do have a frontal lobe that's working you should know that if you have monarch boom put it on placement one and for Vanguard Sung Jun Woo, if you have Monarch, um, put it on Vanguard Sung Jun Woo Elite Summon. If you don't have Monarch, put it on uh, Vanguard Sung Jun Woo uh, Nuke and Summon, right? But for if you have Monarch, put it on Elite Summon. And then the rest should be clear, yeah? So let's say we have this team saved, right? Team 7 is saved for us. We go back over here, team uh, yeah, right, team 7, uh, Namek, and then we go over here to team 7, select this. And then we gotta select this for every single one, right? So let's say we selected it for every single one over here. Now we can click on save. And just so you guys know, this is the same case for literally everything in this macro, right? Um, World Lines is a bit more tricky, but all you have to do is again with the teams, make sure that it's the same team that you actually want the weather to be on. Also, for the people that want to grind the new dungeon, go over here to Frozen Volcano. Again, pick the team. And uh, you can either pick High Class or Sphere Finder. The rest aren't really that good for a macro. But I do recommend picking high class, not gonna lie. So after you did that, you can now click on save as well. If you have the right team set up, everything. Also, if you want to know what the best teams are for every single one of these modes, 
all you have to do is go back to this uh, to the discord right then go to mango tier list right it's just a bit like below the mango just scroll down and you'll see like challenges everything here like literally what i just told you right you can see every every single thing here jeju raid everything is over here the best teams for everything are right over here okay so make sure that you check this out as well all right so after you did that you can x out of this now that we're done with three of the parts last thing we have to do is farm so this is pretty self-explanatory if you want to do daily challenge mark this mark this mark this mark this if you want to do these right and if you have these set up in the placement and the game mode settings do bounty again if you want to do this click on it I recommend the bounty and the challenge team should be the same. So for the repeatable, this is actually after it completes all of these, right? In case it does complete all of these, you can now go to anything you want again. Infinite, legend stages, whatever you want. If you do want a summer infinite, the way you can do that is go over here to infinite. And then for the default, just select the summer event. That is if you want to do the summer event. But let's say I wanted to do gems and odyssey for some reason. And my second should be infinite. But it's never even going to get to that. Just know that usually it's only going to do your first choice. Unless you have world lines. So after you have all of this set up, let's go over to the settings. So for the Roblox settings, make sure that it's literally just the same as mine. Make sure that shift lock is off. These camera modes should be on default. This should be on 60 FPS. This should be on 0.15 then volume i recommend turning this all the way down now graphics quality turn this all the way down and micro no performance stats should be off as well for the av settings make sure that literally if you go down here everything should be on and then make these and then this ui scale should be one all right now after you did all of that you are now actually done with setting up the macro all right so now the main thing that you actually want to make sure you did is that number one you're in a private server so no other people should be in your server then go over here to settings make sure your ui scale has to be one as well make sure you have that as well after you're done with all of that we can now start the macro let's just get straight into the time lapse all right so that was it with the macro as you can see that worked very well so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time also for uh, really quickly for the people that have been wondering you know where i was for the people that do actually care um something like a lot of shit has just been going on and i'm actually working on like a few games right now that we're gonna be releasing pretty soon i'll let you guys know that in the discord in my discord server so yeah you know if you want to check out those games just Check them out. Just a lot of shit been going on. Just remember, like, I love all y'all, bro. Like, every single one that subscribes. Even if you don't like my videos, I love you guys, bro. Instead, I actually love you guys.